next one is my homemade raviolis. I'm gonna show you how to make homemade raviolis and my simple summer sauce. We usually use our own tomatoes in our garden, but right now, using canned tomatoes. San Marzano, they're the best. I'm gonna show you how we do it. Right now, we get our garlic and our olive oil. Get that boiling up. Woo! We're gonna put in our garlic. A lot of garlic. That's how we do it here. Our garlic, look at that garlic get brown. Put our tomatoes in, San Marzano tomatoes. Woo -hoo. Look at that, we're not done yet. Definitely our crushed pepper. We like it a little hot in this house. Our seasoned salt. Nice basil in there, extra basil, just dump it in. This basil's from the garden. Put a top on that. Let's crush those tomatoes. Look at how that sauce is coming. Simple sauce, 15 minutes, garlic. Olive oil, San Marzano tomatoes, a lot of basil, a little seasoned salt. Look at that. Give it a few minutes. We're gonna put that on right over homemade raviolis. I got my ricotta. Definitely always salt. The season a little, open too much. A little black pepper, nice little parsley. Mix this up. Before we get started, a couple eggs. I'm gonna show you. We're gonna get the seams. But before we do that, let's put our ricotta in the center here. It looks hard, but believe me, it's not. You could do this, very simple. If you can't, DM us, and we'll show you exactly how it's done. Now we're gonna get our seams around here. We're gonna brush them with a little egg, so they all stick together. Okay. Make all the seams nice and tight. Gonna go like that. That's three, six homemade raviolis. Now we're gonna cut them. I'm gonna show you how it's done. Was that hard? That was very easy. Anybody can do it. Just pay attention. If you can't do it, call your local caterer. We're gonna cut our raviolis. So after you cut up your raviolis, you put them in one of these bags. A little plastic bag. Get a little flour. A little flour in there. Put your raviolis in there. Then we freeze them for 10 minutes. Just so a little better, they don't stick together. And watch how they come out. Okay, I just took my raviolis out of the freezer for 10 minutes. See, a little more hard. Now, got my water boiling. Definitely a little olive oil in the water, you know that? Definitely salt in the water. Then we're gonna get our raviolis. Five minutes in the water. As your raviolis are cooking, go back to your tomatoes. Look at that. Nice summer sauce, very simple. Garlic, basil, olive oil. That's almost ready. Put that over the raviolis, a little Parmesan Reggiano. It's your homemade raviolis, simple sauce for the Sunday, baby. Okay, let's get our raviolis out. It's been five minutes. Look at that. Homemade raviolis. Drain the water. Make sure there's no water in there. Make sure we drain them good. All right, my raviolis, five minutes. Homemade raviolis. Look at this. Get that here. We get my summer sauce. Look at that. Nice San Marzano tomatoes. Ooh, look at that. Look at that, nice. Don't forget, what we forget? A little Parmesan Reggiano on that. Look at this. Ooh. Never enough cheese. Yeah. Always extra cheese. Look at this. You try those rabbi oils. Oh my god, my garlic bread. Can't forget that. garlic bread. Extra butter, extra garlic, extra olive oil, extra everything. Let me do the Italian dunk. Like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel In The Kitchen With Frank. We're bringing you those homemade recipes. I'm gonna even give up the garlic bread recipe. Come on, look at this garlic bread. You gotta do the dunk, the dip. It's Italian style, baby. Swap the hook. Thank you.